The Sig Sauer P320 coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're looking at the Sig Sauer P320. I'm going to tell you my experience, we'll do the features, and get it out to the range. But if there's anything that I miss, jump down in the comment section and let us know. Also, I'm going to put a ton of links down there in the description, as well as a link over to our full article on this gun. Now, if you're already on our site, you know the drill. Up above, down below, a lot of stuff for you to check out. But finally, at the end of this video, I've got a question for each of you. In production since 2014 at the SIG US headquarters in New Hampshire, the P320 is really a series of pistols. You can get variations in 9mm, 357 SIG, 40 SW, and also 45 ACP if you're geriatric. There's also four different frame sizes and some other options, including the M17 that the military has adopted, but essentially it's a modular system with a polymer frame and they're all striker fired. Now the model that I have for you is the Nitron finished full size 320 chambered and what else? Yep, nine millimeter. But this is doggone cool. When SIG says that their system is modular, it really is. You can change out the grip module, you can also pull out the entire fire control group, and you can change barrels. But also, and this one's neat, if you really want to change your caliber, you can also do an easy conversion. Now size-wise, the P320 is 2.5 avocados long and is roughly comparable to the Glock 19. The slide on the full size is a little bigger than the 19, but the other models really are similar. Now most of y'all know what the 19 feels like and the 320 is certainly in the ballpark. All right, let's talk about features. The controls are minimal. On the side is the SIG takedown lever and an ambidextrous slide lock and a mag release. Now all of these features can be flipped around for all of you lefties. This one does not have an external safety, but some of the models do. The sights are the Sig Light night sights, they glow, and the sight picture is a standard three dot system. Now, two things for me stand out. First are those big slide serrations, front and rear. They're deep and easy to index, but also the grips. The Sig grips have really grown on me over the years. They really do feel great, and a lot of folks do like them. What mine came with was two 17 round magazines and regular paperwork. The price right now is about 580, including those night sights. I think that's a lot of value for this pistol, especially for a pistol that's ready to go on day one. You don't have to do anything to the grips and you don't have to change out the night sight. So for me, again, that's a lot of value. Now the trigger I'm gonna call okay. There's a little bit of take up at the beginning and the brake I'm gonna call slightly crunchy, but overall it's got a pretty good reset. So I'm gonna call this trigger again okay. It's nothing really to get excited about, it's all right. I think the P320 is a solid option for an all around pistol. It's got a huge capacity for home defense, it's fun at the range, and a lot of folks carry these as an EDC gun. But I do recommend if you're going to conceal the 320, consider one of the smaller frames. Okay, let's get out to the range. I've had two of these now for several months and I've had absolutely zero problems. They eat whatever I feed them, zero misfires, zero misfeeds, and after maybe about 700 rounds, I've had no problems. Operating the 320 is smooth. The slide has a nice action. Indexing the controls is fine by me. Now, y'all know me. I like big guns and I cannot lie. And this one is a big gun. It feels great in my hands. It's also one that I end up burning ammo magazine after magazine when I'm at the range simply because it's fun. Accuracy wise, it was solid for me. No problems pinging torso steel at 25 yards. I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube stretch the 320 way out and the gun's gonna do exactly what you tell it to do. Now this is no big surprise because SIG won the big military contract a few years back, so there's been a ton of R&D on this gun. It really was an exhaustive test. So in short, at the range, you can expect accuracy and reliability, and for me, that was my experience. Now, if you're new to guns, maintaining the 320 really is easy. The takedown lever allows for field stripping without a tool, and with a slide lock back, simply turn the takedown lever 180 degrees, and the slide comes right off, just like your Jason Bourne. From there, the guide rod assembly and the barrel come out, and you're ready now for easy cleaning. Reassembly is just as easy. Now, my takedown lever is really tight, 
but the gun is new, so I expect that it's gonna loosen up with a little bit of age. Now here's what I like. The SIG grip is among the best in the business and the ergonomics really are fantastic. Right out of the box, the gun really does feel good in my hands. I've said that three times. I really do like the way this firearm feels. I also like the stock night sights. There's no need to do any upgrades and the full-sized rail on mine has fit everything that I've tried on it. Finally, overall, I just like the 320 as an all-around multi-purpose gun. Yeah, it really is cool, I'm in. But there's three drawbacks that I want you to consider. First, here's the big one. Back in 2017, a bunch of media guys discovered with the early production models that they would fire if they were dropped at a specific angle. Sig Sauer has responded. They did a full upgrade and the newer production models have been fixed. That issue does seem to have been resolved. Now second, the magazines, when they're brand new, they can feel really tight, especially when they're loaded all the way down with 17 rounds. Now I've not had mine long enough for them to really loosen up We'll see down the road if mine do get a little bit looser. Now, finally, a few folks don't like the high bore axis. Personally, I think that the grip angle and the weight of this slide does mitigate some of that snap. So for me, that was not really a problem, just something for you to think about. Now, overall, I think this one's fun. I got two of these pistols on a smoking good deal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave one bone stock and the other one I'm gonna be setting up as a suppressed range gun. Up first, I'm adding a Fax and Firearms threaded barrel. I got the rainbow color because I am fabulous. And I'm also adding an Apex forward set trigger kit and the flat advanced trigger. Now I've tried Apex before at media events, but this is the first Apex trigger that I've really got to spend some serious time with. Now the install, I'll call it moderately easy and sweet fancy Moses, this trigger is fantastic. It's much crisper on the brake and the barrel is ready to go as soon as my suppressor stamp clears the ATF. Hide your dogs. Now, to check these out and some more upgrades, jump over to our upgrade article on the P320. And that brings me to my question of the day. What do you think? I've done now two upgrades to my range gun. What do you think I should do next? I'd love to hear from you. I really would like to hear your opinions. Sound off down below. Now, that's it for the Sig Sauer P320. I really do like it, and I do recommend it. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny. We'll see you soon.